All right, guys, so this next one is the Dar's choke with the gi. So same situation as the anaconda choke. Adam's on his knees, and he tries to grab my leg. I always want to sprawl and control his shoulder, smash him, make him carry your weight. Always make him carry your weight. My hand goes between his shoulder and his head, on top of his shoulder, and it hunts for his underarm over here on this side. All right? <clears throat> and I'm always putting shoulder pressure on him. Look, most people know the anaconda choke. They know you're up to something. So you have to sell it to him. Posture up just a little bit, Adam, be strong. So if I grab on his elbow and pull it out, he won't like that. So as I grab and pull his elbow, he pulls it back in. When he pulls it back in, I shove it. You can shove it with your forearm or with your hand. I like shoving it with my forearm. As I shove it with my forearm, I go smell his belly button. All at the same time. Shove with the forearm, smell his belly button. When I do that, my hand sticks out. Never alleviate the pressure on his elbow or he'll escape. So I stretch my arm out and pressure on his elbow. Make contact, bicep with hand. This hand walks like a little spider all the way up to his shoulder. Tighten your elbows together, pinch your elbows together. When you pinch your elbows together, drive your big chest forward and squeeze, and there's the choke. 